Boy, what a mess, huh? Well, that's what happened. I'm going to work on five or six things at one time, <laughs> as I have expanded into. So I thought I'd show you guys what the, uh, the next project is that I'm working on, in addition to uh, the other stuff you've seen. And that is this guy right here. More lighting. There we go. This is the space pod from Mobius. And of course, it's from Lost in Space. Um, I'm just kind of test fitting everything together right now. And uh, I'll get some of this stuff out of the way. Just kind of going over it and looking at the angles inside of it here to see what you know all you're going to be able to see and all that because um, I do plan on lighting it I know it's crazy but I am um, let me pick up ah, yeah. uh, from Paragraphics the photo etch for this uh, build it's really really nice it, um, where is it as you can see, I've used most of it up already, but uh, it's really nice looking. It's got a lot of detail in it there. So, I've used most of it up, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, one of the things that you have to do is sand a lot of detail off when you put the photo etch on, so that's what I've been doing. So let me just take this apart here real quick kind of show you what we've got going on on the inside. So the, one of the nice things about this model is how this is really, I, I think this is a really well engineered kit. I mean, you just look, look at this. I was able to put that whole thing together. No glue, no tape holding anything on. Really, really nice. So, we're going to light these up here. This is where this uh, control panel goes, right here. Let's see if I can get that. <laughs> Whoops. So, got this piece here, which has got a little bit of paint on it. That's one of the main control panels. And I've gutted it out in the back. You can see there. So you'll be able to see some light shine through it. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So that's gonna go in here like that. And then the joysticks go on top. So that'll look nice. I gotta get this out a little bit more, but that'll work. Um, up next, this is the very, very back. This is the entrance of the uh, of the ship. I've started doing some light blocking on it, but you can see how uh, the panels look. Hopefully you can see that. Should have painted them white, but they're already uh, they're already drilled out with holes. So, let's see the holes in the back. <clears throat> and then we've got the side panels we've been working on here. There are a bunch of little holes. You can kind of see them reflecting in the light there. And then the same with this one. This one had the most little bits of goodies on it. So, that's where we're at with the kit. It's, uh, I've only been at it for a couple of days. Uh, mainly just using um, just like some 100 grit sanding sticks and some metal files to uh, get rid of all the detail and that's really about it guys um, I hope that the next video to have all the photo etch on and start going into the lighting since we're gonna I guess since I've started shooting this I'll show you what kind of lights I plan on incorporating in this I've got uh, couple of different things going on with the lights. There's going to be some fibers and then there's going to be some lighting. So here I've got some yellow green 
LEDs, which will flash between those two colors. And then I have a red, green, blue color changing LEDs. And then this is from Tenet Controls. This is a miniature fusion core for a um, 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 for this particular ship. It's built specifically for a space pod. Now I don't see a battery hand. Yes, I do have one right here. So let's just plug this in real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. And they give you this nice little switch here, which you can just push. I'll hold this off camera and I'll hold it like that. It has varying speeds. If we can get it to focus. Thank you. Okay, so we got right there. And a little bit faster. And then I think it's got one more speed. There we go. It actually looks faster in person. The camera it's not making it look as fast as it is, but it is faster in person. And that's it. So the trick's going to be finding a way to take this, mount that, and run this wiring so that it doesn't stick out through the bottom. But I'm going to build up a base for it with some foam and uh, maybe do some uh, creative uh, stuff with some rocks to hide the wires. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. One of the nice things about this kit is that uh, I'll, I'll just kind of try to show you here with this. Not the right part. This kind of sits in here like that. And you can see I've got a pretty good amount of room back there to run fibers and put LEDs in. Um, however, the back section is going to be a problem because when you take these two pieces and put them on, it blocks all the light. And then I'm actually going to run fibers in there. And actually, you can, I can't really see back there, but it blocks all of the openings. So I got to find a way to trench this out. And I got to be really careful because of how thin this plastic is. But I think we can get it. So. Hopefully in the next video we'll show you some LED stuff, how the lights are going to look. There's going to be some fibers, going to be some LEDs, and uh, go from there. So that's it, guys. Take care.